students today we are going to continue the poem life we had seen the two stanza in the first video now let's see about the third stanza which i have written on the blackboard the remaining poem i would like to read it rapidly merrily life's sunny hours creep by gratefully cherish it enjoy them as they fly what though death at time steps in and calls our best away what though sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway yet hope again elastic springs unconquered though she fell still buoyant are her golden wings still strong to bear us well manfully fearlessly the day of trial bear for gloriously victoriously can courage quell despair now we have seen in the first two stanza that about the life so life i have said you life is hope life is our best friend life is our courage life is solution of joy life is entertainment of joy so we should be positive towards our life whatever the problems difficulties come in life we should overcome all these difficulties problems it is our duty so now third in the third stanza what does the poet say rapidly merrily life sunny hours flee by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly so what does the poet say the happy hours of our life happy moments of our life fly by flee by fly by means fraction of second in some moments this fly away which moments happy moments merry moments happy hours they fly fly by quickly happily we must enjoy them oh do that is why we should we should quickly happily enjoy we should enjoy them happily quickly and also we should thankful as they fly by as they go by when it means they will not because time doesn't wait for someone whatever the times may be the sorrowful time may be the you know the happy happy time but it's fly away and the sub which the happy moments the you know many moments come in our life we should enjoy these moments because they will not for us they will not wait for us and so we should be thankful to these happy moments to these happy moments merry moments because they will not wait for someone they fly by quickly quickly fastly rapidly and that is why we we will not we will not able to catch them we will not we will not able to hold them and that is why we should we should enjoy them now in this next stanza what though death at time steps in and calls our best away what though sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway you know in the in the fourth stanza what though death at time steps in and calls our best away our best our loved people we must accept if death has taken away that person whom we love most it it also does not matter if sorrow win over our hope we must accept it death has taken away their person their person who whom we love most 
you know what do death at time steps in and calls our best away if someone goes away from us means someone is dead someone is passed away whatever may be whoever may be whoever may be we should accept it because it is the rule of nature it is the rule of nature and we have to accept it we have to accept it it also does not matter if sarva we know our work hope we should be hopeful of, about our life we should be hopeful about our, about our life but maybe that matter if that matter if sarva win over our hope we should accept it so here is the uh, here is the what the death at time steps in so here is a figure of speech here because death is given the death is given the quality man in steps in so that is why here is a what is the figure of speech here here is the personification here is the personification because death is given the human quality steps in and so here is the figure of speech personification so what i am saying here what do death at time steps in and calls our best away our best away our loved ones our most loved ones if they go away from us for forever so we should not we should not be nervous we should accept it because because it is a natural it is a rule of nature the poet is say now what those sorrow seems to win over of a heavy sway sway means you know sway controlling influence sway means controlling influence now in the third stanza a hope again elastic springs unconquered though she fell still beyond our her golden wings still strong to be our as well so what does the poet say yet hope again elastic springs springs unconquered though she fell still beyond our her golden wings still strong to be our as well hope will again spring up with the great elastic because we should be hopeful we should not be nervous always be positive you are you always be positive you are positive must be must be positive your attitude must be positive and so hope will again spring up with a great elastic elasticity it is undefeated even though it had been overcome the golden wings of hope are strong enough to bear us and help us to rise you know the hope will again spring up with a great elasticity even means it is, it is like a elastic stick elastic so our hope must be must be flexible we should not be nervous and so so because it also does not it it also undefeated even though it had been uh, overcome the golden wings of hope we have the golden wings of hope and sometimes it had been overcome and so we because our hope are strong enough to bear us and help us to rise now in there in this four stanza man fully fearlessly the day of trial bear for gold gloriously victoriously can courage fail despair you know man fully fearlessly the day of trial bear means we must bear our days of difficulty because every day will not be in our favor because every day will not be in favor of us so maybe what will happen tomorrow we we don't know we don't know no one knows what will happen tomorrow and that's why 
we must be our work days of difficulty but you know you someone said that tomorrow is depend on what we do today tomorrow is tomorrow is depend on what we do today so we do best today so definitely 100% tomorrow will come bright but sometimes because sometimes maybe maybe difficulties arise problems arise so we we must ready to be up we must be ready to be up and so fearlessly bravely the day of trial be up for gloriously victoriously i can courage will be spear so what i am saying the what the what does the poet say so manfully fearlessly the day of trial be up manfully we must be powerful who must be terrible who must be fearless whatever the difficulties come in our life so we must ready to come back we must ready to face it we must ready to overcome because the courage can succeed wonderfully if we have the courage if we have the daring so daring can succeed wonderfully in helping us to suppress our despair sorrow that is the power in our courage that is the power in our fearless we must be terrible fearless brave courageous and definitely these qualities will come across will come across the whatever the difficulties with you whatever the problems with you and that is where the man should be terrible powerful fearless and these must these qualities must help you to overcome such a problems which we which comes in your life and so and for glorious we victorious we can courage quell despair and these courage suppress these problems when these problems if you have the courage if you have the brave brave braveness and this is the this is the qualities must within a man and so we should be hopeful about our about our life because life is a game life is a game so this is the poem which we which we have seen the explanation of every stanza we have seen the figure of speech the personification rhyming scheme rhyming now let us see the rhyming scheme so rhyming scheme now we, we first of all we, we will see in this first stanza rapidly merrily let sunny hours fleet by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly so rhyme scheme is the pattern rhyme scheme is the pattern of a poem or a song that is mean the last word of the first line last word of the first line if the last word of the first line rhymes with the rhymes with the second line second word as i am last word of the second line we we'll see merrily by no rhymes merrily doesn't rhyme with by last word of this first line doesn't rhyme with the last word of the second line so here is we can which means we can give here a so now see here let us see rapidly merrily merrily rhymes with cheerily a we let us see about this this stanza as far as this stanza is concerned we are learning about the rhyme scheme rhyme scheme is the pattern rhyme scheme is the pattern of a poem of a poem means the last word of the first line match from rhymes with the last word of the second line we will see merrily fly by 
means merely doesn't rhyme with by. So a letter is given. So the last word of the first line rhymes with the last word of the third line cherry means here is the a. Last word of the second line click by. Last word of the fourth line fly b b b. So means a b a b. This is the rhyme scheme. As far as this stanza is concerned, I am explaining because it is not the first stanza of this poem. Just for understanding only, I am explaining this rhyme scheme. So what though death at time steps in and calls our best away? What though sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway? Now steps in in C. In rhymes with away? No. What though sorrow seems to win in win C. And calls our best away or hope or our hope a heavy sway means here the D. D. Another letter is given. This is the rhyme scheme means A B A B C D C D. This is the rhyme scheme. So I hope you understand well. So that's it for today. Have a nice day.